Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the validations and confirmations that I'm doing a good job as well as helping you along your journey to give you information to let you know you're not going crazy. You're not alone and we're all fighting the same battle with just different situations. So with that being said, much love love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way also if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video also if you you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or give give you good information or a piece of understanding that you really feel like you need to share with it fellow empath please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorite wherever you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and i hope you're uh in showing me love and support as well always and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today my video uh video meditation that i'm using which is very beautiful they're showing like very beautiful images god no the girl's flexible i couldn't be able to do those things but hey i would love to learn how to do that uh, it's, uh, it's called Positive Energy Cleanse, 528 hertz and 963 hertz of healing uh, miracle tones, letting go of overthinking. You know, we have a bad habit of doing that. But I really like uh, Keith Soar's uh, meditation. I've used a couple of his uh, meditations um, that I placed in my videos, and they use good images this one girl she was doing the yoga and holding her fingers together and pulling her leg all different ways and standing on one leg oh my like, gosh that's that's talented but i couldn't do that i'm a little bit too old for that <laughs> but i would love to learn how to practice to do that because it's like good when you can be able to do some of those meditation poses but yeah um when I when I meditate before I even do any of my videos, I always ask the universe, you know, what things that you need me to pinpoint on to send the fellow empaths that are, you know, going through things and struggling with certain situations that they need to have validation on it. And then while right after I finished doing my last video, I heard being gentle with yourself, being gentle with yourself. I don't know who needs to hear that right now. But, you know, they said make a video about being gentle with yourself. And I always say that a lot um, because I, there's times we get frustrated with ourselves. And this, uh, the video today is going to be Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when universe is making you be more gentle with self. Yeah, they're making you be more gentle with self. It's just like sometimes we can be hard on ourselves because we're not able to let go of things that we need to let go of. Forgive where we need to forgive. It takes time because you have to think about it. I mean, if you have uh, spent a long time dealing with things a certain way, you know, you've been in a negative, you know, a negative situation for a long time. Or, you know, you've been to the point where you've been abused or you know just mistreated you know it takes a long time for you to just convert over or it does sometimes it just takes people longer than others and just put it that way to be able to switch over from that certain way of thinking that frame of mind you know you can't be so hard on yourself and say why can't i just give this up why can i you know just get done with that i've been that route trust and believe that because it took me a long time to get over what my family has done to me because it, it was like i knew for a frame of mind, I always thought it was my fault. You know, when you're going through a certain situation where you have been womanized, you have been uh, talked to in a negative sense, um, when you have narcissistic family members, you know, all these different things, you could have narcissistic spouse. You have been told that for so long, it's like your frame of mind is had you thinking this is your fault, or you need to have this certain person in your life, or you need to look at a woman a certain way to feel wanted to look at a man a certain way to feel wanted and you know those things have happened so you have to give yourself time to be able to convert you know the negative way of thinking into the positive way of thinking so don't be so hard on yourself if it doesn't take you a few hours or take you a day 
you know, the more and more you, you practice every day, like self affirmations, mantras uh, of telling you, I am enough. I am important. I am a loving person. I am understanding. You have to keep telling yourself that every single day for you to be able to convert those over. Um, going through things, it's not an easy task. You know, you, you have to be proud of yourself that you haven't hurt yourself. You haven't hurt others from the things you went through. You're a very strong person because if you weren't, you wouldn't be watching these videos or trying to find a way to make your life a little bit, you know, it's not going to be easier, but look at it in a more positive mindset. You know, that, that takes a lot of strength for you to do. Know that life is not perfect. People are not perfect. You know, obviously for people to tell you something like that has been told to them in the same sense. So you have to look at it that way. You know, I had to keep on telling myself my family had to be really messed up mentally, you know, for them to be able to push out something like that towards somebody else. Especially, you know, they they envy for the fact of who my family, who I'm related to. Um, I don't know how they found out. You know, I don't know how my dad found me. But... My dad was, my adoptive father was very threatened by that. So he made me, you know, pay for things that had nothing to do with my father or had anything to do with me. But he, you know, he, he, he pushed that out on me. He made me pay for certain things that, you know, I had no control over, you know. Um, he looked at my six, my six, six, uh, sent six cents ability to be able to talk to the dead, be able to get certain things that I wasn't able, to, I, I, a child shouldn't know. You know, and he made that look like a mental illness, even though that was a spiritual gift that God has gave me. You know, some people can look at like pagans or Wiccans is a negative sense. It's all about what you push out to the world. Um, it's either, you know, everything has balance to it, good and evil, dark and light, you know, dark and light, you know, up and down. You know, it just depends on how you look at things and how you are pushing out things, what kind of intentions you're having when you're using them. But just to know... You need to be gentle with yourself. Know it takes time. Knowing you are a strong person because strength, you know, it, it, it acknowledges the things that we need to change about ourselves. Don't put yourself down. Even though people have done that to you, don't do that to yourself, you know, because it's a lot of times we have been put in situations to where we will have self-doubt. We don't have that confidence. We, we have in ourselves, but we don't know how to use it. Um, ego will sit up here and put negative thoughts in your head oh it's gonna you know this is not gonna work or you know you shouldn't do this you know anytime it's something that that pushes you towards a positive aspect is a good thing but with ego it's not going to allow you to do that and you have you have to be able to di differentiate take the difference you know what the word i'm trying to say but i can't pronounce it right now uh, to be able to know when when uh is the ego talking because sometimes the ego will push out negative things because ego does not like change so that's like a fail safe when you're you, when your body is changing when your frame of mind is changing you know we fear what we don't understand we fear what we don't know what's coming next but that's when faith is supposed to kick in you know knowing that you're going through this for a reason knowing okay this is what i've been facing especially if you're being activated it's making you face a lot of things that scares the hell out of you it makes you acknowledge things that are not going to make you comfortable you have to be uncomfortable of getting uncomfortable you have to do that because it's just like if you don't if if life doesn't press you towards your limit or have you pressing you know pushing envelopes you're not gonna go anywhere you're not gonna know what your full potential is until you push out and use it so it's just like you know I'm, I'm glad that universe is sending me things to talk about because I mean I'm going through this too you know I don't know what my full potential is you you, you, get, you fear you when you don't know what's gonna happen next you fear feeling like oh god is it gonna work but that's okay if you fail that's fine you, you be gentle with yourself don't get mad at yourself it's just the fact is when you fall get back up you know that's all you got to do a lot of successful people have been got successful over their mistakes off of their you know mishaps their setbacks so don't feel like you need to constantly keep blaming yourself for things that you cannot initially change that quick 
be patient with yourself be gentle with yourself knowing certain things happen for a reason you're going through this for a reason it's going to be a positive aspect but that's how you have to look at it is a positive change for yourself you're pushing that envelope you're acknowledging yourself and it, you know addressing your full potential on the things that you need to further yourself in life for so knowing you're you're going through this for a reason knowing things will get better is not going to change overnight it's going to take time you have to be able to instill that into yourself yeah i don't know what's going to happen no i don't know what tomorrow might bring but i'm going to be able to change that i'm going to make it work you know i'm not going to give up on myself i'm not going to give up on my future you, if you're not happy where you are this is the reason why you're getting pushed to those limits to be able to further yourself and knowing your gift is going to be something that's going to further you out in places you never imagined you're you're going to go out and be doing things that you know it's not going to be comfortable but at towards the end of the day you never know you might be happy on what you have done so be able to know everything happens for a reason yeah we have our dark moments but it won't be dark like that all the time yeah you might have good days but it's it's not going to be good all those times but just to know that you're giving yourself that chance to be able to see what your full potential is don't allow what naysayers have to say about you seeing something uh, you know you're doing something for yourself to better yourself because a lot of people would be intimidated by you because they feel like they can't do the same that's no that's not your problem that's a personal issue with them you keep doing you you keep pushing yourself you keep pushing that envelope you never know where it's going to take you so i hope you're able to resonate with this i feel really good after doing this video because it made me acknowledge a lot of things about myself as well so like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i love to hear from you and like and subscribe and push out as much love and light positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days now i will hope you all have a blessed safe weekend um a post notification shout out goes to christy my she's a new um subscriber much love to you and i hope you know you, you won't be a stranger roxy one dj and alexandra silva and i will see y'all later much love to you peace and be wild.